I gotta say, I woke up this morning, walked outside and frozen. It was so cold because of that wind. That Arctic blast came in overnight, bringing with it very strong winds and hundreds of people waking up to find that their power got knocked out. 11 Alive's Doug Richards is live in DeKalb County. And Doug, you've been all over all day talking to people without power. How are they getting by? Well, you know, to look at the glass of ice water as being half full, the good news is that most folks uh, did not lose their power today, but the, for those folks who did, and that includes people in this neighborhood in DeKalb County, uh, today was a very long, chilly day. Yeah, man, it's just pretty cold, bro. Like, no electricity. I mean, you really can't do nothing. Don Butler felt the power go out at his house in Stone Mountain around 3.30 this morning. But we got hot water, but no stove, no, so you can't cook nothing. By the time we met up with him nine hours later, Butler had spent time in a car staying warm, hoping a crew would restore power sooner rather than later. It's a cold house. I ain't seen nothing like that in a long time, bro. 3.45 a.m. So it was nice and cool when you woke up? Oh, yeah. And uh, they kept promising it was going to be done. John Shackleton of Brookhaven says he hadn't expected the outage to last through midday and beyond. Uh, we're going back home and it's getting a little colder all the time. Let's put it that way. I think we can I think we can handle it. We got a little burner stove we can turn on and generate us a little bit of heat there and bundle up. It's like anything else. You don't realize how much you need it till you don't have it. Georgia Power's website uh, delineates just how many people don't have it yet. Uh, uh, 432 active outages uh, that it is still working, affecting more than 11,000 customers uh, with work extending uh, well into the evening. Uh, live in DeKalb County, Doug Richards, 11 Alive News.